Hey guys, we are um, gonna start working on the third page in the Everlasting Printable Mini Album Template. These are the first two pages that we made and I will link the video playlist uh, for this in the description box below. And I will also link my templates in the description box below. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. All right, so for this page, we're gonna be using uh, page two and three, uh, that's main base, part one and two, option A. And we're also gonna be using page eight. We're gonna use um, this pocket. We need two of those. So one, they're both gonna be flip pages, so neither one of them's actually gonna be a pocket, but they're gonna be flips. And I'm also going to use one of the banners from one of the pe uh, previous pages that we printed off uh, to make the other two pages. There's a set of banners on some of them, so I'm going to use some of the banners in this video as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let me get this, put this aside for a second. Okay, so the first thing, oh, here's page, oh, here's the... Um, Labels. We're going to be using these labels too from page 16 that we used before uh, to keep the flaps closed. So here's the two page eights that I printed off in script, and then the labels from another page, and here's the main base page. So I've already showed you how to put this together, but I'll just t uh, in another video, so be sure to check that out. But I'll just tell you really quickly I trimmed off this long tab and this long tab and then this white part here, and then I trimmed this out entirely. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together and ink it up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is all put together. That's the main base, and the ink that I used is uh, Distress Ink Ground Espresso from Tim Holtz and Ranger. Um, and I used a score tape, a sequin score tape, to attach the the main base page together. It's very important to use really good quality double-sided adhesive, double-sided? Yeah, double-sided tape. <laughs> really strong when you're constructing pages like this. Um, and this cardstock is just 65 pound cardstock that I get at like Staples or something. Um, it's very thin and flimsy, which is, is uh, making my inserts not want to slide in and out very easily, but I wanted to be able to put a whole bunch of layers on here without, you know, the cardstock being too thick. So that's why I went with the 65 pound um, cardstock so that we can do more layering without, you know, getting into a really thick page. So there's the main base. And so then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with these two flaps here. Let me get my paper trimmer. This is a Fiskars Precision uh, Heavy Duty Paper Trimmer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, let me think here, I'm going to cut these, this, um, yep, that off, <laughs> the belly band off. I'm going to cut that off and set that aside. We're not going to use that today. And then, um, this one, I'm going to cut the top and bottom tabs off. So there's one. I'm also going to set that bow aside. We use that at another time. And then we're going to cut this top flap off. Wait a minute. Yeah, we're going to cut this top flap off there. <laughs> I've got this planned out, but sometimes it doesn't. I, I just forget what I meant to do. <laughs> So we're gonna leave this tab on. So then on the second one, we're gonna go ahead and take the belly band off again. Let's set that aside. And then with this one, we're gonna cut the bottom tab off like that. And we're gonna cut the long side tab off, okay. Like that. So then what we want to do is we want to score it. Let me get my scoreboard out here. This is a We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard. And I'm going to use my Martha Stewart Stylist just because uh, it's more accurate. So I like it better than the one that comes with the scoreboard. And we're going to score that one, and then we're going to score this one. Huh. 
I'm hearing strange noises. Anyway, <laughs> okay, let me skip this aside. So then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and prep the fold line or the score line both ways. So we're going to prep it the way it's intended and then we're going to turn it over and prep it the other way. Oh, oh, shoot. I actually picked the wrong tab to keep, but that's okay. I'll just reverse it. So here's my thought. I'm going to put a flap here like this. And then I was going to have a flap go like this, but since I since I um, left the wrong flap on, we're going to have a flap that comes down like this. Okay? And so then we're going to have use one of these labels to keep it closed. Okay? So, lately I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do. So then what I want to do is I need to put some tape on the back here. I'm going to use my Sue Queen score tape. And let me make sure I'm putting this on right. Yeah. So I'm going to put it on the back side here. These are Tim Holtz tonic scissors. Put it on the back side of this one. Okay, so then I want to go ahead and notch these corners. It just makes it easier to attach down to the base um, page. Like that. This one is so easy. So then I'm going to take my Distress Ink whoa, and my blending tool and I'm going to ink both sides of each one of these pieces. And then I'll be right back. All right, so I have both of these pieces inked up and ready to go. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and attach them down. I think um, I think I'm going to have it this flap on the bottom of this flap like that. Not it's not really going to matter as far as when you attach them, which one goes first. But so I'm going to go ahead and take the backing off of here and. <sighs> I'm going to put some glue stick. This is just uh, Hobby Lobby. It just says glue stick for photos on it. No big deal. Then I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to match it up down here at the bottom. Make sure it's straight that way. And that's pretty good. And then let's do this one. Same thing. Take the backing off. A little bit of glue stick just to give me a little time even though it's harder with this thin paper um, to remove things if you have to remove things but okay match that up just like that whoops let's see straighten that out just a little bit but it's also easier to do this straighten it out if you get it off just a hair there. So now we've got a flap this way, doop, and then a flap this way, just like that, right? So easy. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm not going to mat these two pieces right here, but I am going to mat these, and I am going to use the labels from page 16, and I'm going to use the banner. Let me grab the banner real quick. So we're going to use this banner, and it's actually on page 13. So um, we've used the page 13 in, a, in one of the other pages. So we're going to use this banner. I think we're going to oops. We're going to put it here on this back side. So I think what I'm going to do is first I'm going to show you how to cut these out um, simply. So I'm going to move these and. Um, I'm going to also cut, I'm, I'm going to cut two. I don't know if I'm going to use two, but I'm going to cut two just in case. But the first thing you want to do to cut these banners out 
um, just cut a straight even if you don't use all the different ones just just cut it off like that no big deal right and then before you do any more oh well that's not it's not true then it makes it easier if you just trim one side off over here and then one side off over here like that and then I'm gonna get my scoreboard back out and then we're gonna score this line all the way down it should match up perfectly they should all be perfectly aligned is what I meant to say right just like that and then to make it even easier because you're going to be ending up flipping these tabs over like this to hold on to whatever you use to make it a banner flag so I'm going to flip it upside down and there's why I scored so right along this edge right here I am going to add a piece uh, this is 1 8 inch score tape. I'm just going to add a piece right along the edge there. Whoa. <laughs> just like that. Cut it off. So now we've got it on all the five pieces in one fell swoop instead of trying to do each little teeny tiny thing. So then the next thing you want to do is you just literally want to go through, I'm going to use my long scissors because I feel like I get a better cut, a straight cut with my long scissors. So you just want to then go through and trim all those pieces out. And then you want to go and ink all the edges front and back. And then you'll have all your little banner pieces ready to go when you want to make your, your banner flag. So I'm going to do that for, for all of those, and then um, for these, let's just cut these apart. I'm thinking I'm only going to need two, and you know, you're just going to have to fussy cut it out. That's the best thing to do. So just, these are Cutter B scissors. I will try to link everything in the description box below that I use, so if you wanted to check it out um, for yourself, you totally can. So you, the, let me cut this excess paper off. So the best way to, you know, to fussy cut is to literally hold your scissors still and uh, turn the paper when you're doing rounded edges especially. Um, it just makes it easier, a smoother cut. So I'm going to cut both of these out and then I'm going to ink them up. I might even ink both sides just in case. And then I will be right back. Okay, so I've got my two labels, and I've got all my banner flags cut out and ready to go, inked up, everything's good to go. And so now it's time to start putting it together, but I need to start matting it, um, putting it together. It's already put together, but adding these elements, but I need to start matting it while I'm doing that. Does that make sense? I think it does. <laughs> I'm hoping it does. Um, so again, we are using 49 in Market. Uh, sand and sea collection the colors are beautiful but i am trying to downplay the beachy ocean theme um so if you've watched the other videos you'll know that that's what i'm trying to do okay so i've picked out the papers i wanted to use these are some scraps from the other paper or pages um, and i'm going to use this on the main part so i need to get my mats out and of course i need the main base Option A mat that's on 25, and I need the Option A pocket mat that's on page 29, and I'm going to go ahead and use these two for the two flaps, and I'm only going to do, oh, I hope this is big enough, yeah, I'm only going to do the outside because, you know, I might run out of paper, so I don't have very much paper. Which is why I've been printing the script on the one side um, and trying to get it to be where it's inside a flap instead of on the outside of the flap. Just in case I can't um, mat it in the end. So maybe I can just add some pretty embellishments or something. So 
I'm going to trace that and trace both of these. Pretty simple, right? And then I'm going to trace this one. I'm going to try to get this top corner here, but not so much the lighthouse. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. Like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, you can still see it, but that's okay. I'm going to trim these all out, and then I'm going to ink them up, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so they're all trimmed out and inked up. So this one is going to go back here, like this. Right, and then I think I'm going to do this one here, and this one here, just like that. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the two flap ones. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac by Beacon. And since it's really hot here right now, um, I'm just going to do one at a time because my glue has been drying on me. And before I can get to it, like if I was to put glue on all three of these and then, you know, do whatever, it might dry on me. So I don't want to do that. I've got a fan on today. I usually don't have a fan blowing because it moves my lights around, but I've got it on low, so hopefully it will help. All right, so then we're gonna put this piece on. You could use double-sided tape. You could use a tape runner. You could use whatever liquid glue you want. Um, this paper is extremely thick, so I don't even think it would matter uh, at all what liquid glue you used. So, um, that's good. When you're dealing with really thick paper, it doesn't really matter what you use. But Fabri-Tac is my favorite. Okay, so before I attach this down, um, I'm going to do a magnet closure with my labels here. So, I think what I'm going to do... Um, does this have an up and a down? I don't think it matters. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one here, like that, and then I'm going to put a magnet on it, and I'm going to stick this behind it. So let me show you the magnets that I'm using. So in my previous videos, I've been using these magnets um, that you get at the hardware store. I got mine at Home Depot, and um, and I'm not using them because I don't have my basic gray, because I do, and I love my basic gray, but this was suggested, recommended to me, and if you, you know, if you're in a pinch and you can't get the basic gray magnets, then these are a perfect alternative. So I thought I would try them out. So they've been working out pretty good so far. So I'm actually going to use two of these magnets for this page because I feel like it's going to be going through a lot of layers. So I'm, instead of using a washer, I'm going to use two magnets. So again, I will try to link everything below as best I can. Okay. <laughs> um... So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue half of this down. I'm just going to glue, put glue on one half here, just like that. And I'm just going to estimate. I kind of like it to be up higher like that. I think it looks kind of cool. Just going to lay that down there. And if you wanted to, you could have just stuck a little bit so that way it was like a tuck spot. But it's too late now. I've done glued it down. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a magnet here with, I think I'm going to use my double-sided score, score tape, my double-sided score tape, my score tape, my, what is this? Score tape. <laughs> oh my, it's okay. I don't think it matters which side right now because why, why is it moving away from my finger? And I'm going to stick it down. I'm just going to pick the middle here. Okay. If my dogs would quit interrupting me, maybe I could get this finished. <laughs> um, they don't quite understand. When I turn all these lights on, they need to be shishy. But they're not, they're not listening. All right, so I got the magnet down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on this part here. I inked both sides just in case 
thinking that maybe um, you might see part of it, but you're not going to. So, and then I'm going to put glue on the side over here. Ooh, I got a little close there. Just like that. And I'm going to flip it around so I can match up these edges. Yeah, see, I got the glue too close to the edge, but that's okay. So, looks like that. Now the magnet's completely hidden, which is awesome. Well, maybe not completely. You might see a little bit. So then I'm going to take this other magnet and stick it on there like that. I'm going to put a piece, another piece of score tape, just a little square. Like that. Take the backing off. Let me open this up. So then I'm just going to lay it over here and smoosh. This is where the other magnet's going to go. Right there. Oh my. That is some strong. Okay. All right. Uh, this is where I should have used. Um, a posty note. Let me grab one. All right, let's try it again. These are some super duper strong magnets. I mean, holy cow. Oh, it's not going to work again. There we go. All right. So here's what's going to happen. This is going to be here. This is going to be here. And then this is going to be here. Oh. And since I used two magnets instead of a washer and a magnet, it's it's holding it. It's there's no there's no question that that's going to hold it down. Okay. So now I just need this uh, this blue piece here. So what we're going to do is now we're going to do the banner. So I went and got um, what I do with it. Oh, here it is. I got some Baker's twine that I thought this is like a lavendery color, and I thought it looked really pretty with this paper. So I'm basically going to make a banner that goes something like this. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off the cut that off the uh, roll there. This um, I don't remember where I got this. Gosh, good gosh. Um, I'll have to link it in the description box below, but it's just Baker's twine. Okay, so then I need to figure out how many of these do I want to use. I can use three or I can use all five. Um, let's see. Because it would be cool, or maybe I can have it come across this way. If you could put like a person's name or you could do the date, you could stamp it, um, any of that. Maybe I'll use all five just because I want to show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip all of these onto their back sides here. And I'm going to, did I already prep these? Yeah. I'm going to remove the backing on each one of the, oh, I need to put an order, don't I? Let's see. And it doesn't really matter. How about that? It really doesn't matter what order you put them in. It's up to you. If you print these directly onto pattern paper, then you might want to pay attention to the order. But since these are blank and they need to be matted anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to space them out a little bit, but I'm just going to lay this string right here and then I'm just going to flip the tabs over. Oh, see that's one thing you got to try not to do. Don't get the string caught in there. Come on. Oh my goodness. Let's try this again. So I'm going to lay the string in here hold the string down and flip the tab over. So we're going to do one at a time. So I'm going to lay the string in here and then flip the tab over. Before I press, I need to make sure that 
the string is not caught. And lay the string, flip the tab, like that. And this is if you want it to be like a loose banner flag thing. So this is how you would do it. You could glue them straight down if you wanted to, you know, not have them movable. Okay, before I flip this back over, I want to go ahead and ink this top edge real quick because I'm thinking I might mat the backs of this. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. But just in case. Okay, so now we've got something that looks like this. Right? And so now I can move them. Um, to be exactly where I want them to be. So I think, I just don't know how I want this to go yet. We could do, we could do something like that. Oh. Squish them together a little bit better. We could do something like this, or we can have it come across the middle of the page like this, and that way you could tuck things behind, put a picture behind, um, anything like that. So you can just keep fussing about with it until you're happy. I think since I used all five, I'm gonna have to, it's gonna have to drape across the whole thing. Oh my. So I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna attach it down, or I could do it like that. I think I'm gonna attach the string to the back here. So I'm gonna flip this over like this and then I'm gonna go get some tape. All right, this is just regular um, tape, nothing fancy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down like that. So then okay. I just need to decide if I want it to be up here or over here. I think I'm gonna go over here. So I'm gonna tape this side down now. Like that. And then, if you wanted to, once you get your photo behind there, you could um, like to attach these into position, like, you know, put a glue dot behind them, but that's basically, I wish I had to put this up a little higher. It's okay. Right? So that's pretty cool, pretty easy. So now I'm going to attach it down to this part. So I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to add the Fabri-Tac all the way around there. Whoops, that's going to seep all the way around that, around the tape. I want to make sure that doesn't come up. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> oh my. Okay. Probably don't need that much glue, but since I have a, something underneath that's dimensional, I wanted to make sure that I get it. Okay, so then I'm just going to lay this down here like so. Don't that look cute? I think it looks adorable. Alright, let's see if the magnet still works. I'm, I'm thinking it does. Alright, so to mat these, I'm going to mat the labels and I'm going to mat the banner flag. So I've got my scraps. I dug into my scraps um, 
so that I could mat these. Gotta find my label. There, there. Boo. All right, so the mat for the labels is on page 37, and I think I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this. I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay that down. I'm gonna trace it out. I'm gonna trace it out twice. Oh. Okay, so I've got those two traced, and then I'm thinking for the inside for the banner piece, I think I'm going to use this red. I was thinking about the green, but I like the red. I'm going to use the red, and I think it's just big enough. So the mats for this banner is on page, um, what page are these on? 37. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start, I'm just going to lay them on here one by one and trace them out. Look, it's just the perfect size the strip is. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to lay all these out, and then I'm going to cut them out, ink them up, and then I'll be back and we will put them on. Okay, so I've got all my pieces cut and inked and ready to go, so now I'm just going to start putting them down. I'm just going to start attaching them down. I'm just going to get my fabric tack and we're just going to add all the mats to it. Just one at a time because my glue, remember? Lift this up. This is such thick paper, good grief. Alright, I'm going to mat the inside one as well. So now, let's do, when I do the embellishing, I'm going to have to make sure I do something that says pull down. <laughs> I keep pulling it the wrong way. All right, so let's just add these mats to the banner flag. So cute. So you can stamp a name on there, or you can use letter stickers, or anything like that. That would be so cute. A, a name, a date, a place. Um... Just whatever. Whoa. Whale. I was trying to avoid that. Okay. These are so cute. Right? Isn't that cute? I think it turned out fantastic. I like it. Yeah, I'm going to let that dry a second before I close this up. Alright, so now I'm going to get this closed up um, and make sure that it magnet still goes through all those layers. And it does, yay. So awesome. Okay, so that's it for this page. Um, the next the next uh, video, we're gonna do the back side. I'm really liking the way these pages are coming out. I'm really, really digging the color scheme. I mean, it's, it's really cool, I like it. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, be sure to check out the printable templates. Uh, there'll be a link below. There's also going to be a link to the video playlist for this whole entire uh, template. Um, and they will be in order. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that before, but they are in order. So if you want to start from the beginning and work your way down, that's the best way to do it. Um, but that link will be in the description box below as well. And then... Um, we're going to do this one next time, so if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit this circle right there. And you may want to check out these other videos that are here on the screen. So that's all I've got today, and I will see you next time. Bye.